boys. What an incredible week. What an event. Gordon, you said it had, it had like a sense of the Hong Kong Sevens a little bit, didn't it? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, rugby league, like, we got this great product. I think we've been really humble for a long, long time. But to bring this and the spectacle and 40 odd thousand people turn up, I think it's been absolutely fantastic. Has it, wor has, has it worked, you reckon? Oh, my are God. We ha are we happy with a five year deal? I, it's exceeded expectations. Yeah, it's hey, outstanding. Hey, Sammy, 20 to 10, you've you, you've uh, rolled the Broncos, thanks to Aspire, brought to you by Kia, as do the uh, match highlights. I thought you looked really strong in the trials. Uh, and, you know, just looking at you blokes over here in Vegas, you were really, really focused. A question for you. Looks like you have loosened up your attack a little bit. You look far less structured. Yeah, no, it's um, definitely a work on. We, we understood that we really didn't attack, attack at our best last year, and uh, something we worked pretty hard on. I think um, the dimensions of the field were, they were, they were pretty, yeah, it might not look as much on TV, but it was, it was pretty big sort of um, on the field there. And, uh, we sort of, you know, made our attack a little bit different. And I was just talking to Reese before, and he was saying the same sort of thing, trying to, trying to work your attack off, off um, that small, on that smaller field to be tougher. And uh, I'm sure we'll build on it, but I knew, knew coming into it would be, you know, a big defensive game, and I know the boys stood up there. Well, that was the thing, mate. I mean, your attack, you, you put 20 on it, but your defence was brilliant. Tell us about Spencer Lenu. He, he got a little bit fiery out there, Semi. Hey, he was, he was very passionate. <laughs> yeah. eh? um, so the first game with him, mate, he's, um, he, he's a ball of energy. Uh, we, in the first half, I think um, he might have forced an error or something like that. And he, 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 I thought he scored a try. He was up and up and about, and you know he really, really brings that energy. And um, something we, might have, we probably have missed a little bit in the last couple of years is that that passion and that aggression. And um, you know you, you want to sort of sort of want him to keep it in check sometimes, but you want to let him go as well. And him and uh, I thought him and teammate was awesome. Yeah. Hey, you can't put Timo on the ground. He's been that, he's been that good all preseason. I'm glad he's come out here and shown it. Now, your goal line D, I thought tonight was was outstanding. I thought last year, uh, if you got attacked a few times, you kind of went to water. But tonight, you were outstanding. Is that something you worked on in the break? <laughs> yeah, definitely. We've definitely worked on it. Um, yeah, I thought I thought we defended pretty well last year. We let a lot of sort of ordinary tries in yeah. off like sort of kicks and um, offloads and stuff. So that was definitely a massive work on for us. Um, you know, having having Radley said it next year, you feel you feel pretty safe out there, and um, and I thought he was awesome for me tonight as well. Semi, uh, you played at some amazing stadiums. What about this stadium and playing in the desert, playing at altitude? Did that make a difference out there tonight? Um, I'm going to use that as the excuse. I was, I was pretty cooked out there. <laughs> uh, I felt yeah, I felt a few of the boys were sort of cooked, but I thought um, I thought we just kept turning up. Uh, we could sort of see we, we just wanted to try and make them come off the try line as much as possible, and thought we did that. The big fella over here was he was blowing about 25 minutes in, but oh. uh, he's hanging in there. The big fella. Well, what a, he's very happy too, isn't he? <laughs> very cheerful. Have a good stint. Have a good stint. Get cheesy, Mike. He's got the veneers, oh, veneers, oh, he's got the veneers <laughs> blowing here. Oh, here we go. Hey, How are we boys? Hey, Looking at the other night, I see. What about your 40 20? How was your 40 20? Is that Las Vegas' it first 40 20? Yeah, it, it was the 40 20, they touched it. Yeah. So it doesn't count. Everyone's trying to steal my thunder. Doesn't, doesn't count. Mate, just Terry Evans, uh, Adam Reynolds, sorry, they couldn't do it. <laughs> Cheese, just on your game, mate. You, you, you had a good stint tonight. You played the first 40 and a little bit. A little that bit of that second. For a well, I think, well, compared to last year when you were blowing after 10 minutes. I was blowing after 10, I didn't worry about did it. You work, did you work hard in the break with your fitness? Yeah, mate. Well, we've got a new SNC at the moment. Um, you know, I don't know, I can't remember his first name, but his last name's Jonesy. Um, <laughs> mate, he, he's, made us, he's made us work real hard in the, uh, the preseason and um, it kind of showed out there. I felt like the boys felt a lot fitter. Um, he, um, he's also hibernated like a bear the last couple of days. Have a go at this guy's hairline. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, don't talk about hairlines. <laughs> hey, boys, do you, uh, what about after? What, what's on tonight? Good company here. What's on tonight? Back home no, to bed, ice bath. Uh, uh, mate, my ice parents bath. are visiting. I'm just going to keep it low key. Yes. Uh, hang out with them. Probably go out for dinner. Yep. Uh, yeah. Not going to the chain smokers. I'm hearing the chain smokers. Are they here? Yeah, apparently so. Here. Yeah, apparently so. I'm not sure. Who? <laughs> chain smokers. Hey, boys, <laughs> hey, Tedesco, the skipper. That was a special game from him. Yeah, no, I thought he, yeah, he led from the front. He was, yeah, he was enormous. Just kept coming up with big plays after big plays. And as soon as we needed, as soon as we needed something, I thought he was there. And um, yeah, the, the elite to follow him out on the field. So, um, yeah, something pretty special. Yeah, I knew it was coming. He's had a huge preseason. Uh, he's been in every drill. He's, he's really led a, 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 from the front as a captain. And um, yeah, super stoked for him, especially with you know all, all that's going on with the New South Wales stuff and. 
I think he really put his uh, foot forward, so yeah, I'm uh, proud of him at the moment. Hey, hey Brendan, everybody was talking about the dimensions, and Sam said that they felt it when they went out the back to play some footy. Did you notice the dimensions on the field, the smaller field in the middle of the ruck? Did you notice? Yeah, well, I definitely felt like the field was a, uh, smaller, especially with the, the kicking, and, and it just felt like the whole team was rolling down the field real quick. You look, at, you look up and you're already past the 50 metre line, so... Um, it cost me a try assist too on the grubber down here. Yes. One and a half extra metres. Hey, okay. boys. Uh, Joseph, Swaliki. Yeah. Wow. Mate, he was... What a powerhouse. Yeah, no, he's, yeah, he's a beast. He's, um, he's another one who sort of had a massive... He came back early, had a massive pre-season, and um, I don't think he, he didn't play for Samoa in the, um, over, over, the, um, over the summer as well, so he's... Yeah, he's put his foot forward and uh, mate he's been awesome and you know Katoni Stags one of the form centres I thought he you know he really put it to him tonight. I was going to say to you before that uh, the narrow field wasn't as big a factor as we uh, thought it yeah. was however Daniel Tubo might disagree of course the one <laughs> who uh, he honestly ended up uh, he ended up on the first row of the grandstand have a look at this he got this here oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying Sammy it didn't feel it right. doesn't because it we were looking at it, it didn't look that much smaller, but could you tell playing the game like it was yeah, actually... Massively, yeah, massively, yeah. Um, like, just, just that middle section, you sort of... You get one pass and you're pretty much over the other yeah. side. It, it just it sort of just changed a little bit, and um, a lot of that, like, the shifting out the back, out the back, it just... You end up running out of room pretty quickly, and, um, you know, I, I sort of knew coming into this game, we've, we've spoke about it as a team as well, um, defence... So is, is, that, is that why you got more minutes here tonight, Chief? That's because more. you didn't have to run across... So far, the other side hey, of the field yeah, to get so the dummy half. Hindy, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, lay off him and together, mate. Yeah, well, yeah, it's up, just please. good to have someone I else said on you the were desk. Good today, this well, morning yeah, as well. Did, I know, but it's good to have someone else on the desk that you know carries a bit of beef and, yeah, and right. gets through the games. That's oh, all, Chiefs. Yes, I did notice it in the set starts because they were only keep uh, using the lines for the set starts. You were able to tee off on them because they're only nine meters. Um, but yeah, I'm not teeing off on anyone. Oh, mate. Hey, boys. Go and, yeah, go, and go, yeah. go and celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. Go and celebrate with the boys. Yeah. Go have a beer. Oh, I thought you were going to see your family. Yeah. 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 With my dad. Yeah. Gatorade. Yeah. Gatorade. Hey, hey dinner. See you. Well boys. Hey, hey, get Robbo. Good on your brother. Yeah, good on your brother. See you, mate. The coach is off uh, just signing a few water grabs. See you, mate. Good on your brand, Dad. Well done, mate. Good job. Uh, here comes Robbo right now. Coming in. The coach. You know, boys, like. Oh, here he is. Hey, hey Robbo, well done, hey, mate. So on, mate. mate. We're talking about last night how the boys looked really focused to be here in Vegas. So crucial for you, boys, to get off to a good start this year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a. Uh, I think it's always crucial to get off to a good start if you can. It's better to finish well. Uh, but we, yeah, we had to target some things at the end of the year, and and one of them was uh, was getting off to a better start been clearer on our footy at the start of the year um, and I thought that was uh, that was a really good start obviously the um, the defense was in place was able to give us time to breathe with our attack and then uh, it started to pick up the longer the game went hey Victor I thought it was one of his if he had a, brings out a greatest hits it would probably be one of the opening songs he was he was fantastic yeah the amount of times that it's easy to step in when you side to side with three guys and someone's running India and you can step in a lot of those step-ins were with a lot of space around him. So, you know, not, he's not sure if he's going left or right. And, and each time he stepped in and made some contact and rocked the guys. And then it took a little bit of time for the guys to get there. But Brad's had a big game tonight. He was really special. Well, we thought Spencer Lenny was going to be a great signing. And he walked past us late. And he's still yelling at him. He's got so much passion. It must have been good watching him play tonight. And now it's like Jared Aria Hargreaves has got someone to... Yeah. To, to, to remind him what he was like when he was that age. Yeah, I think, you know, Spencer's got so much energy and the way he started the game, I was really proud of him. You know, it's, yeah. obviously he hasn't started a lot in his career and he came here to do that. And he did that, created the ruck speed, I think, for Brandon to get out on one of the early carries. Um, and, I'm, and he just needs to put that energy into in the right direction and he'll, he'll change the, the competition from the front it's row. It's better to tone him down than wind him up. Trent. That's for sure. Robbo, your, your bench was enormous. Terrell May just seems to be getting better and, and better. Well, you must have had an enormous off-season. Yeah, T just... It's incredible because you, you do your interchange and you you know you players on and off and you want to get Lindsay Collins back on, you want to get Spencer back on.
But Terrell May, I just keep playing him 40 minutes in the second half because he keeps turning up. Keeps, I think he had a try saver down in the left-hand corner. Uh, he keeps carrying the ball, finding offloads. He just, he doesn't, he doesn't get tired. Robo, the most important thing for you blokes with the two points, but what an event! Incredible thing to be a part of. Yeah, I think. I mean, we've all, you know, we've all crossed paths at different times over the last week, and to be in Vegas, you know, one of the iconic cities in the world. And rugby league's on the agenda, and to feel really proud about that and export our game, yeah, you know, hats off to yeah. Andrew and Peter and the game in general for putting this on. Mate, can I ask you, you've got the two points tonight, but how do you prepare for next week? Yeah. Obviously, the long flight home, a bit of a turnaround. Yeah. What, what do you do with the boys? Uh, give them time off. You know what it's like when you get home from a flight uh, and someone says you've got to turn up for work the next day. So uh, we'll probably have off until Friday. I think we get home Tuesday. And then we'll come home, come in Friday. So they'll get Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off, recover, get back to sleep. Uh, the guys are fit. They're ready yeah. to play. Um, so we need to recover them from the trip. And then we'll get going on Friday. Robert, thanks for your time. Go and celebrate with the boys. Thanks, your boys. players. Thanks, mate. Good on you, Robert. <laughs>